So, you wanna watch videos in your Supra while driving, or maybe you want a Netflix and chill. I'm gonna show you how to do both. Well, maybe not both, but I'll show you how to watch Netflix while driving, maybe even some of your favorite apps like YouTube, Hulu. I can also show you how to watch movies on here as well. Let's get into it, guys. So the first thing you should probably have is full screen CarPlay. Now you don't need full screen CarPlay to be able to watch videos and also have screen sharing features, but it just changes the experience of the car overall. Having your apps full screen, having your maps full screen, Spotify, everything just looks so much better. If you have a 20 Supra like myself, I had to have this coded in. Now you have two options for this. You can either have it coded in or you can take your car to the dealership and get probably the latest recall and they'll update it for you. Now, I try to stay away from bringing my car to the dealership because Toyota doesn't really do a great job with these cars as it's more so a BMW platform. So I usually do everything myself. I just rather not have the issues coming out of the dealership with problems. I'm gonna put a link in the description and that's going to be to Vimmer Remote Coding. Now he does all of my coding for my car. He coded out my seats so I don't have any lights on in the car and he also did my full screen car play. All you have to do is have this cable, which is like a $20 cable. You also have to have a laptop with Wi-Fi and you connect it. Once you have Wi-Fi connected to the OBD port, you're good. So all he does is hook up to your DME and codes it out for you. It takes about 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes or so. So one of the first ways you can play videos through your Supra is through a USB stick. You can pick one of these up. They're fairly cheap for like 16 to $20 at your local Best Buy or even Walgreens or CVS. I think I got mine at Walgreens for about 20 bucks. Now the only way videos will play through the USB stick is if they're in the right dimension. You can't upload a 4K clip to your drive or any 1080 clip. It has to be converted to the right dimension to fit the screen. So what we have to do is convert the video to the right dimensions in order to play in the Supra. So what we're gonna do is head over to the computer and show you how to get that done. All right, so now we're at the computer. The first thing we wanna do is download Handbrake. Handbrake is going to allow us to convert the video files we need to be able to play in the Supra with the right dimensions. Handbrake is totally free. There's no watermarks in the videos. Once you have Handbrake open, you wanna hit File and select the file you want to convert. Once you have that file in there, you wanna to go to Preset. Make sure the preset is set to 1080 30. Then we're gonna head over to Dimensions. First thing we wanna do is go to the anamorphic setting and make sure you check that to None. Then you want to uncheck Optimal Size and then check Allow Upscaling. Then you wanna change this number right here to 480. You also wanna click the other side just to make sure it converts automatically. Then you'll get a number of 1132, 1152, somewhere around those ranges. You also wanna make sure that you go down and check automatic on the bottom. That's gonna keep our aspect ratio. Then you wanna head over to the video section. In the video section, we want to make sure that our frame rate is set to same as source. Then we wanna make sure that our level is set to 4.1 and constant frame rate is also selected. Once you're done with that, you just wanna make sure you go down to browse and select the folder that you wanna put your file in. Once you have that set, you wanna go up to start and code and you're all good to go. You wanna make sure that you do a bunch of different videos all in one shot instead of having to go back and forth. Once you're all done with that, ugh, we hop in the car, put our USB in and play our movies. So we scroll down to USB in the media radio section, USB, and then we select our video. And just like that, we are all set. Now, the disclaimer with this is that the only way you can watch videos while driving is if you have it coded into your car. You have to have Beamer code in order for you to be able to watch movies or any type of video or screen mirroring while driving. You just have to have a Beamer code license and you're good to go. So if you have MHD or if you have some type of flashing software, you can also use that as an adapter to be able to code your BMW or your Supra to be able to watch videos while driving. It's called Video in Motion. In the meantime, if you don't have that, you can still enjoy movies while it's in park. Sorry. So now we're onto our second option if you want to screen mirror your phone. Unfortunately guys, the only way you can screen mirror is if you have an Android device. I know it sucks, I'm, I'm sorry, but iPhone is not compatible with this type of software to be able to screen mirror. I believe if you're jailbroken, you're, you can possibly do it, but as of now, if you're not jailbroken on the iPhone, the only way to do it is an Android. But you can go to the store and pick up a track phone like I did, Android, Samsung, for about 60 bucks. Now, I went to Best Buy, they had one for 40 bucks and they had one for 60 bucks. Now, this phone isn't the greatest in terms of speed, the processor is kind of slow, but it gets the job done. The most important thing is that you're able to smart view or screen share to your Supra. Let's get into how you can do that. 
First, since I don't have service on here, I'm gonna use my mobile hotspot on my iPhone to be able to provide service so I can actually watch you know, YouTube and all these other videos. First thing you wanna do is set your phone up. You can also use a tablet. Any type of Android software on a phone, whether it's a Samsung, a tablet, you can use the screen share to your Supra. So the first thing you wanna do is set up your Android device, whatever you have. If you're already set up and you have this as a mobile platform already, and you're using an Android as your main phone, you're all good. The only thing you have to do is swipe down on your phone twice, go to smart view, select your car, which is mine's gonna be Toyota, whatever the number is. Then you wanna go into your menu settings. You wanna go to media radio. Then you wanna select uh, screen mirroring as an option and you'll see add device. You can add your device there. Once you set up a device as a device in your car, you're all good to go. And then everything that's on your phone will play on the screen. Now, in order for your videos to play close to full screen, you have to bring up your settings in your smart view. So what you wanna do is you'll see a little icon where it says smart view or it doesn't say anything. It just has a smart view icon. You wanna hit that. Then you wanna hit phone aspect ratio. A menu will come up. You wanna select full screen on connected device. Now this is gonna allow you to play full screen on the super screen. Once you have that set, you're all good to go. And then you can open up YouTube, play a video. And when you rotate your phone to the side, you'll have it playing full screen. So hopefully I was able to help you guys out. If you have any questions, make sure you drop those questions down below in the comments. I will also be posting a link to Beamer Remote Coding so you guys can hit them up and schedule a time to set up your car. Anything that you need coded for your BMWs or your Supras, he's able to do. So until next time, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Yeah.